welcome to the mathematics of my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral uh, i is equal to integral from 0 to pi dx over 1 plus 2 times sine square of x dx well how to begin okay first uh, we know uh, many student uh, trying to solve uh, in this way so uh, first uh, they are going to uh, divide by cosine of x uh, divide by cosine of x both denominator and numerator so if we divide it by cosine square of x we know 0 to pi here dx over cosine square of x we know secant square of x dx over now 1 over cosine square of x we know secant square of x plus here 2 times sine square of x over cosine square of x we know 2 times tan square of x here uh, here dx okay now uh, we can simplify 0 to pi here secant square of x over now instead of secant square of x uh, 1 plus tan square of x we can substitute 1 plus tan square of x so 1 plus tan square of x plus 2 times tan square of x we know 3 times tan square of x dx okay uh, we can take uh, this integral uh, also divided uh, also following this way so if we take now i is equal to 0 to pi uh, i is equal 0 to pi uh, dx over here 1 plus 2 times uh, instead of sine square of x we can plug in 1 minus cosine square of x then uh, we can simplify 0 to pi dx over here 1 plus 2 so 1 plus 2 we know 3 and here minus 2 times cosine square of x then uh, 0 to pi we know uh, cosine square of x is equal to 1 over secant square of x so if we simplify here secant square of x dx over now 3 over uh, so here 1 over cosine uh, secant square of x so 3 times secant square of x minus 2 okay now uh, here in the numerator we have secant square of x now instead of secant square of x we can plug in uh, tan square 1 plus tan square of x so here 3 uh, times uh, secant square of x we know 3 times uh, tan square of x so 3 plus 3 times tan square of x minus 2 and we can write this is equal to 0 to pi secant square of x here dx over 1 plus 3 times tan square of x okay now both these two integrals are same okay now to evaluate uh, i we can take now antiderivative so if we take antiderivative we know this is equal to 1 over square root of 3 arc tan of arc tan of square root of 3 times tan of x uh, from 0 to pi okay now if we plug in upper limit and lower limit we know this is equal to 0 so answer is 0 but is this correct is this correct no this is we know this is incorrect so what's the reason why is this incorrect well now uh, now i am going to tell very important fact so listen carefully here um, okay uh, i write uh, listen carefully uh, we know the newton leibniz newton leibniz formula Uh, Newton Leibniz formula for evaluating 
evaluating the uh, definite definite integrals not applicable because because the antiderivative antiderivative of f of x you know f of x is equal to 1 over square root of 3 uh, octane of square root of 3 tan of x uh, tan of x discount uh, discontinuity discontinuity uh, at the point at the point x is equal to pi over 2 uh, which we know which uh, lies in the interval uh, interval 0 to pi okay I think uh, you can understand it okay now we know uh, when x approaches to sorry when x is equal to pi over 2 uh, fx limit discontinuity so okay if you take uh, limit uh, left hand limit and right hand limit so if you take uh, LHL we know uh, limit h approaches to 0 1 over square root of 3 uh, octane square root of 3 times tan of phi over 2 minus h phi over 2 minus h at x is equal to pi over 2 so now we can simplify now limit h approaches to 0 uh, 1 over square root of 3 octane of we know tan of phi over 2 minus h is equal to uh, cot of h so square root of 3 cot of h and we know this is equal to 1 over square root of 3 uh, octane of now uh, we know when it approaches to 0 this is equal to infinity so octane of infinity phi over 2 so this is equal to pi over 2 times square root of 3 okay now I'm going to take uh, RHL right hand side limit so we can write this is equal to uh, limit h approaches to 0 1 over square root of 3 uh, octane of octane of square root of 3 uh, tan of pi over 2 plus h uh, at x is equal to pi over 2 okay then we can simplify this is equal to limit h approaches to 0 1 over square root of 3 here octane of we know h approaches to 0 when x is equal to pi over 2 uh, this is equal to tan of pi over 2 plus h is equal to minus square root of 3 cot of h okay then we know this is equal to 1 over square root of 3 octane of minus infinity and we know octane of minus infinity minus phi over 2 and this is equal to minus phi over 2 times square root of 3 okay then uh, left hand limit uh, is not equal to right hand side limit at x is equal to pi over 2 okay then now we know uh, antiderivative of f, f antiderivative of f of x is discontinuous at x is equal to 
phi over 2 so anti antiderivative of f of x is uh, discontinu discontinuous at x is equal to pi over 2 okay now uh, we are going to take correct solution so what is the correct solution uh, now we know i is equal to 0 to pi dx over 1 plus 2 times sine square of x and this is equal to 0 to pi secant square of x over 1 plus 3 times tan square of x dx okay then uh, we know this property we know this property uh, 0 to 2 times a f of x dx is equal to uh, 0 uh, when f of pi minus x is equal to f of x f of x and uh, 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 2 times 0 to a f of x dx uh, when f pi minus x f pi minus x is equal to f of x okay then um, we can write uh, if we take f of x is equal to secant square of x over 1 plus 3 times tan square of x uh, when f pi minus x is equal to f of x therefore our integral i we can write 2 times 0 to pi over 2 secant square of x over 1 plus 3 times tan square of x dx okay now to evaluate this integral we can take a substitution so if we take square root of 3 times tan of x is equal to t now differentiate square root of 3 secant square of x dx is equal to dt uh, and now here we can plug in so here uh, secant square of x dx we know dt over square root of 3 so here 2 over square root of 3 now limit uh, when x approaches to 0 we know t approaches to 0 upper limit we know infinity and here secant square of x dx uh, dt over 1 plus 3 times tan square of x we know if we square both sides here this is equal to t square d t okay then uh, sorry here we write dt uh, then we know this is equal to 2 over square root of 3 uh, arc tan of arc tan of t limit when c, uh, 0 to infinity okay now uh, we can plug in so i is equal to 2 over square root of 3 now if we plug in infinity we know pi over 2 if we plug in 0 here 0 so now 2 get cancelled and i is equal to pi over square root of 3 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching